so today we're going to learn about amazon web service and specifically sqs so sqs is a simple queue service and this is used to you know maintain the communication between different components of the software system and when you use this you can send message store message and retrieve message now for this we have to log into uh, AWS console and before this let's look at the agenda what we are gonna achieve today so today we're gonna learn about how to log into uh, AWS console choose different kinds of service specifically in our case it is SQS create queues and create messages so this is the agenda for the day and let's log in into uh, AWS console and see how it looks so probably this would be your uh, you know home screen when you enter into AWS console and this is the URL when you punch into uh, Punch in this URL you would be taken to the home page of AWS console And this is the area where you are given an option to sign in in case you don't have uh, a sign-in Login credential you would be asked to create an account. So this is the login console where you need to uh, login into AWS console and you know you need to enter your credentials so uh, you would be provided an area where you can punch in your uh, email address or username and then you need to enter your uh, password so that once you enter the credentials you would be taken into the screen where you can choose different kinds of service so uh, now we have entered into management console and now we need to choose our service in our case it is sqs so i'm just typing sqs and we found the service so i'm gonna choose or select that specific service so i'm just highlighting the service that we have selected so we'll choose the service and go inside it so once you enter uh, we need to create a queue before we create a message because uh, queue uh, acts as a repository so when you need to you know store message uh, we need to store message inside uh, the queue and i'm gonna enter uh, the queue name as you know test demo or test queue or something like that so before that i would like to highlight that there are two varieties of queues one is standard queue and one is fifo queue and below are the differences that you can find so i'm gonna choose uh, standard queues and give it a name and then we're gonna create queues so point to note is this queue can be created in different regions so you can create in north america south america asia so you can choose any specific reason and create a queue so now uh, now that we have entered the queue name we would be creating the queue so after we have entered the queue uh, we're gonna get the list of the queues and i already have a list of the queues and we already have an option to you know perform actions on the queue so now i'm gonna say send message so this is an area where uh, you can send message i'm gonna type in you know uh, message and choose the message attributes and send the message so this is the response i'm going to get after creating a message